Hey guys, this is me again. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to be reviewing a movie called I Know What You Did Last Summer. I recently just watched this earlier today. This movie is not mu Well, it does say horror, but horror movie, but it's more like a slasher. I mean, yes, horror movies... I mean, October is a good month to watch horror, horror, horror movies, but slash movies are another movie genre that's good to watch around October Halloween time, because, yeah, horror is the main movie genre, too. It's perfect, but slash movies are also another genre to look at. Yes, anyway, so I just finished watching this one foreign movie, but before I watch the next movie on the computer, let me get to this review. So we have a team of a group of teenagers. Uh, okay, so a group of teenagers, like Sarah Michelle Gellar and Jennifer Love Hill plays teenagers with Freddie Prinze Jr. Both of those those two, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie, Freddie Prinze Jr. were in the Scooby Doo movie, live action. So there was a terrible body that didn't stick. There was um they were in a car, so they accidentally hit somebody. Well, the, these four teenagers hit. Accidentally hit, fatal mistake of, I mean, accidentally hit somebody, and then they their body was thrown into the sea. But the guy comes back from his, the fishman was looking for his podgy, I think. Basically, he comes out and so they are trying to accidentally um. They would, they would accidentally kill him, and then the guy comes out of nowhere. I mean, so the guy tries to get his revenge against those that who was responsible for the drowning. I mean, dumping the body in the water. Like, out to kill those responsible. This gem is actually not too bad of a movie. It is, yeah, it is an underrated film, I say. For a slash movie, it was pretty, yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, I liked it. It's just, having Seven Michelle Geller and Jennifer Love Hewitt playing teenagers, well, the performances were pretty well. I mean, the kills were nice. I mean, I had a nice experience watching it. I, of course, watched it last year, but I never got, I didn't be, what I'm trying to say is I have not been reviewing whole movies on it, but there you go. I am trying to get back to doing that uh, here on YouTube. And using the Movies On channel for movie reviews because this channel is dedicated to them. But yeah, the performances were pretty good and I just thought it was... I'm... It was good. I, I kind of like. I kind of had a nice time. I borrowed it on DVD. I don't know if I will get to watch the other two movies. It's, I still know what you did last summer, and I always know what you did last summer. I know I watched those once before last year, but maybe I'll get to those. Who knows? I just don't know if I'm going to keep them another look, but I know what you did last summer is kind of an underrated slasher. I mean, I wanted to take the opportunity to do this for you. I, I don't have much else to say about this movie, but yeah. A three and a half out of five. I didn't have much to say about the slasher, but yeah. Sometimes people, when they're reviewing movies, sometimes they don't have much to say about a specific movie they're reviewing at the time. Or whichever movie they're reviewing. 
here on YouTube. But I wanted to do something. But anyways, that'll be it for this movie review for I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's kind of like, you know, like I said, it's kind of an underrated slasher. I mean, despite the mixed reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was good. I mean, yeah. It was... I like that Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Finch Jr. would appear in this movie. I, like, they would appear in Scooby-Doo together. With, um, also with Matthew Lillard, who was in Fred Five Nights at Freddy's movie. There's going to be a sequel coming out, but there's actually another movie, a legendary sequel, that's coming out in the set to release in 2025. But yeah. See how that goes, but I probably want to give those other two movies. I still know what you did last summer for 1998 and that 2006 director video sequel. I'm gonna go if I can. But hopefully, I'll get to rewatch those whenever I could. If not, whatever. But yeah, stay tuned for more horror movies and reviews for horror movies. Basically, sorry about that. Uh. I wanna also wanted to get to Monster House and I also wanted to review Scary Movie. And I probably might if I've seen Saturday Night on Friday, I would get to review it as well. Um either do a Friday and or wait until Saturday to or upload wait until Saturday for you. But anyways, stay tuned for more movie reviews.